Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Friday for you guys that are watching. Today is Tuesday. Yeah. How is everybody doing? That's good. Go back to doing good. Yeah, pretty good. You asked them. You said how everybody's doing. That's not me. <laughs> okay, how are you doing? I'm good. Just got back from my little run around the neighborhood. Yeah, I you have stink like sweat. I definitely don't stink. You have to. You be do. Lying. I'm not lying. You stink. Okay. I wouldn't call it stink. I'd call it. A Sorry, man- you smell a manly musk. 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 With a K. No. That- yes, it whatever, is. Whatever. It's, it's, it's with the K. It feels wrong. That one just gave me the ick. Okay. Um. Yeah, I just got back from my run. Feeling good. I have officially committed to getting winter, uh, <clears throat> English. Getting rid of my winter belly, even though we're basically in May now. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, to be fair, here it is still winter. Last night there was rain all night, and since it is colder up in the mountains than it is down here, this morning on the way to work, I look up. And it is just the most snow that we've seen on the mountains since arriving here in Italy. It is a considerable amount. So, yeah. winter, it is still winter. A lot of <laughs> snow up there. Yep, it's still winter. People so. probably brought their skis back out, headed up yeah. there for. I was, I was, weekend, I was just telling one of the, I forgot who it was, one of the coworkers, like, shit, may, may as well just go snowboarding this weekend. There's enough <laughs> snow up there. If it stays like this, it'll definitely. Eh, actually, I don't know because I don't know how powdery it is right now. Well, at the very least, this weekend is definitely prime time to go snowboarding because for the next few days, as long as it's not sunny out, for the next few days, it's going to be at the, at the very least, partly cloudy, if not fully cloudy, and then the weather is not going to be too warm, and it's supposed to still rain over the next few days. So that's the most important one: the rain. Because if it's raining, that well, means it's snowing up there. It says it rains, and then it rains for two seconds, and then the whole day it's just sunny. Like well, this morning, the, the rain was gone by the time I woke up, and it was sunny out. Yeah, but it had been raining all night. It had been raining all e- like all evening since I got home from work. Actually, since before I got home from work, yesterday, and then rained all day to the morning. So that's a good amount right there. And then it's supposed to still rain a, f- a-, a bit. So, you know what? If you're down, I'm down. Actually, wait. We might have plans. We'll get to that. But yeah, I've I've committed to the getting back in shape thing. It's been a long time since consistency, and I'm going for it. Later tonight is booby day, chest day. Finally stepping foot in a gym. Yeah. For once in forever. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I've been waiting this day for a long time. Good for you. Yeah. How have you been doing? How's the uh, makeup by VNA on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Just plugging it everywhere every two seconds. Trying to get you out there. I want, I can see it. I can feel it. You will get those big major brand deals. <laughs> so I don't even like her, but one day you're going to end up working with Kylie Jenner. And for that, I don't I'll be know grateful. About that. That's a One stretch. Day. I don't even think I'd want to be working with Kylie. Jenner. Yeah, me either. I don't like her. I don't trust her stuff. Yeah, me either. I don't like her. <laughs> sure. Let's but, just let's. I th- I think the goal, if you were to ever get that big, because at that point, that's just like when people create their own brands. Yeah, at that point, you may as well just. When you get that big, at least. Yeah, may as well just do it on your own. But like. Just that's to, a stretch, though. That's just, that's quite a bit. Just to get you into that realm, a little brand deal with Kylie, that'd be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Watch me like shake hands with her, and then like do one of those like shake hands, but then bring them in closer. I don't like you. Yep, gotta let them know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been good. Nothing too crazy. Haven't really done like crazy looks. Really, this is all just kind of like filler work up until I get my things together. Yeah. So yeah, I mean it's been looking good. You just posted one of your uh, one of your butterfly ones. I like that one. It's cute. It's very pretty. Yeah, I've been just doing like simple 
things up until I get... I finally put my order in for one of my palettes. There is something else that I need to order in order for me to have, like, a full set of things that I can, like, really go crazy with. But I have the palette coming of, like, eyeshadows. So that's already a little bit of a step up compared to what I have now. Because I, I don't have any shadows at all to begin with. So... That's on the way. I don't know when I'll get that, but it's on the way at some point. Yeah. But yeah, it's been fun. My little workspace has been created. Um, the video is out now by the time this podcast comes out, so go check that out. But we did start putting my little room together since my back started hurting, and I'm just tired of being on this floor in the corner over here by the bed. Yeah, normally she sits just to the left of us in the corner of our room. It's the most uncomfortable thing ever. Yeah, just sitting up on two little pillows that don't work for shit. Her ass hurts, her back hurts, and yeah. So we got to her <clears throat> English, please, one day, just one time. Uh, Ikea furniture. We got your desk, we got you some drawers, we got your <laughs> proper nice little chair, leather. Mm-hmm. Authentic Italian leather. At that, probably not. Nope. I was just trying to hype it up. But yeah, we've gotten started on that. And more on that later. Hopefully, the next time we make a vlog, we're a bit more settled into the house. Because I've received confirmation today that we're finally getting our household goods. Yay! On Monday the 29th. Hopefully, hopefully, I've made the appointment... <laughs> Yeah, at this point, yeah. (laughs) I'm just waiting, like, I'm just going to be here until it's in my driveway. Yeah, that's what she said (laughs) when I told her about the potential of the news. Because I first got the email saying that the earliest availability would be Monday. And then I sent them an email back with, like, the address and all the information. And I was like, yeah, can we get it in on Monday? And then they sent me an email back saying, yep, we got you on Monday. But... Being that it's been so long and our shit has been pushed back multiple times now, we're not going to believe it till we see it. I'm going to... Is this like the people that's coming to the house? Is that the movers that we got with Alaska or that stuff's already no. dropped off and now another company's bringing it to us? A German company took over. Got it. So Interesting. we might be meeting up with Germans. Fun. Yeah. Well, then it's here, or probably, like, midweek or end of the week that it would get here. Yeah. I mean, last I heard when it got pushed back, they said, sorry for the inconvenience, but at least your stuff is in Germany. And so now, when I got the email today saying that it was available to be delivered, they said it arrived at a warehouse. So I'm assuming it arrived at a warehouse Somewhere in Germany, somewhere in Italy, but as far as I know, we will have our stuff on Monday, and I'm very, very excited to finally, finally be settling settling in, and just like, you know, really, really starting our life and getting comfortable here, good times. Yeah, I just don't look forward to the mess in this place once all this stuff gets here. It's going to be what it is. We'll get there. So we still haven't gotten rid of cardboard from our initial move-in and now we're just gonna have a shit ton of boxes everywhere yeah but at least we know that the the paper pickup day is a bit more useful than i thought because me putting out that that uh czar bag full of shit i was totally convinced they were not going to pick it up because from what i've heard on like the aviano facebook pages and stuff people are always complaining about how when you leave anything that's not in the container just hanging out they don't take it but today they took it so that wasn't really like a big thing there's people that will put out this giant box with more boxes in it and that's just like too much at least a zara bag that was like already intact and just pick it up and throw it in there yeah i guess some people also said like it depends that if they see certain stuff with like labels on it Because they even tell you, like, four plastic bottles. They tell you if you can remove the wrappers on it, then take it off. Hmm. So, 
I think they get a little picky with some things. So I think that's why some stuff, because I've gone through like comments and things on the Facebook posts when people post like complaining that the trash people didn't pick it up. And some people mention that like if they see a label or something or something that shouldn't be mixed in with cardboard and paper, then they just, they won't take it. I find that kind of ridiculous. I don't know why they take the separation of garbage so serious here, even though their air quality is probably the worst on the planet. Most like China. Yeah, but the, the, they are very strict on yeah, their trash. But it's things. pointless because clearly they don't care about their environment. Otherwise, literally, anytime you look on the freaking the the, the weather app, air quality is literally red well, everywhere. What's the point? Just go to shit. Not <laughs> in in. How does that even happen? Actually, what's polluting the air out here? Vehicles, industrial. All these cigarettes they all smoke out here. I guess. Well, they're making an attempt to keep something clean. I've never once seen anywhere that I've been in America the three places (laughs) red red air quality every single day. Yeah, that's just Europe in general. And then I've never once also seen in America that when it rains, it literally leaves your car disgusting like it does here this is the first time i've ever seen rain come down and it actually stains the car looking like rust that's disgusting yeah it is nasty and it tastes terrible don't eat it yeah like even if you (laughs) if you even if you try to do one of those romantic playing in the rain kind of things and like try to uh, stick your tongue out for the for the rain you're not gonna like it it doesn't even taste good yeah it it tastes really bad yeah so clearly the environment out here sucks Literally, just just go down the slope. Just accept your fate. Stop caring about the trash so much. It's over. I guess. <laughs> but anyways, uh, uh, yeah, that's kind of our life at the moment. Yeah, it's going we'll, we'll probably have a lot more. No, we'll be. I guess we'll be vlogging a little bit more of what's happening in our daily lives the next few weeks because now that we will have all of our things and plenty of things to unbox and put together and we mentioned this a while back once we first got into the house that we weren't really going to start buying things for the house until we got like our furniture yeah so we'll finally get to measuring and looking at what we can get to fill in the house a little bit more yeah we're definitely already at like a step up of making our home feeling homey because in alaska i mean we didn't really decorate much and furniture wise all we had was our bedroom and the living room which was literally just the couch our tv and the tv console and then two bar stools because we (laughs) didn't have a kitchen table so we just ate at our bar I'll I'll figure something out. We still have them. We don't have any kind of a bar here or anything. We'll figure it out. But I think that's yeah. Same. That's all. That's all we had. And now we already we have a kitchen table, thanks to our landlord. Yeah, it was who here just when we got here. Provided it for us when we moved in. So that's already a step up from before. At least we actually have a place to eat and like separate ourselves from. The living area yeah and and just getting this desk for you at all that's like our first attempt at another room other than our bedroom another room is completed for the most part i mean there's not really much else to add that's like big to my little room other than just like decorations and small junk or whatever our room is basically done other than extra decorations that i want to add in here once we get our furniture that was already pretty complete so i think we're already like at a good spot of making it feel like home compared to alaska so the shopping videos will be fun not so much for a bank account (laughs) but i guess it'll be fun to do it'll keep us busy and it'll have we'll have more things to share with you guys um aside from the usual things that we just always vlog and that you've already seen over and over again yeah. if you watch our YouTube videos. Yeah. Well, moving on to our 
topics of the day. Uh, she she wrote. We need to turn this damn heater on. It is, it's so cold in this house. It feels like our house in Alaska. My hands have been frozen all day. It was actually like it's hard to paint on my face when my fingers are so cold because they don't function properly. Turn the heater back up. Well, it's cold. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I feel fine. <laughs> well, because you just got back from running, so <laughs> your body is warmed up. I've been in, in here all day. Well, I guess I'll turn it up a little bit more. It's so cold. It it feels like our house in Alaska. And we would not turn the heat on over there. Hey, hoosies. Topics of today, some random current news, whatever, mobbers. Current events. I hated doing these in school. Actually, I don't I think I ever actually participated in current events at school. I can't remember what grade I was doing those for real in. That was a lot of the grades. I never did them for real. If I ever did them, it's because I copy and pasted somebody else. I don't think I ever genuinely did one. I'll just take the zero. Ugh, I had it. It was in my brain and then I lost it. But there was a class that I really did have to like print out articles and it was a weekly thing. That was not yeah. fun. Yeah. Any hoosies, some random things that have been roaming the internet. And this one, I might sound stupid, but I might not because there might be some people out there who are on the same page as me. Um, recently, we all know that, you know, Dubai was flooded. They were underwater for a little bit of time. Yes. The mall was destroyed. Those are some crazy videos. Like the airport one where the planes are like literally swimming. It was on the so runway. bad. It was <laughs> so that was insane. water. And then there was the other video. I've only seen two videos. It was that one of the airport. And then there was another one where in typical Dubai fashion, the the billion trillionaires boating their freaking <laughs> Lamborghinis and Ferraris and G Wagons yeah. around. Just like on little floaty boats. That is such the worst place to have a flood like that because that is oh, yeah. so much money. Everything is Especially luxury. for the mall. Like that whole first floor was just underwater. That was terrible. But yeah. I guess it is Dubai so they can pay for it once it's over. Yeah. Is it still happening? No, it's good now. I think it oh. was just for like the first two days. But something that I found interesting that I at least, I'm pretty sure I did not learn about in school. Do you know what cloud seeding is? Um, not officially, just like through word of mouth. I don't know like the textbook definition. I don't remember hearing about it ever in school, but to be fair, I never really paid attention. Of course you didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, I did not even know that cloud seeding was a thing to begin with. That was I had never heard of it. I assume up until the Dubai flood happened. I assume I've always heard about it, but I assume uh it means you play God and make it rain. Yeah, which is fucked what up. What the hell? Why would you do that? Why are you well, playing with the environment? Dubai does it because it doesn't rain enough. Yeah, but but the thing with now look at what you did. <laughs> with this time it was just because this was the one time that nature decided to do its own thing and rain on its own. And then cloud seeding was on top of that. So then it just doubled the rain that they had received to begin with. But I did not know that cloud seeding was even a thing. They literally go with planes up in the air into big clouds once they start saying that all the clouds are forming. And they dump salt into the rain or into the clouds. They dump salt. Yes. Salt is just like shooting out of these planes, and that's what makes it rain. Which I, I'm like almost a hundred percent sure they did not teach that in school. Well, no, I don't. I don't even think I, I. Like I said, I never even heard of like, at least in school, I don't think I've ever heard of that. But outside of school, that's like something that I vaguely heard about, specifically about Dubai. But I've always ignored it because it's just like, who the fuck actually does that? Why would you want to make it rain? Like, why are you messing with the environment? Because now look at what you did to yourself. Yeah, they 
actually do it pretty often and, and they never really had problems with it but like i said this was like the one time that nature was just trying to do its thing and yeah. then they added on top of it and that's what resulted in them being underwater yeah. i get that it doesn't rain but like there's other ways to do what you gotta do than making it rain yeah that was just interesting that i just i didn't know what that was yeah. up until i learned about it and they have a whole science building and all these people who just they're basically like weathermen or they just track the weather and then it's like a combination of weathermen and the the tornado tracker people who like look out for tornadoes and chase them chase them. <laughs> oh yeah that's kind of you know those people those where they fun. have like those heavy ass metal yeah, trucks yeah. and they just stomp in the ground and then just sit there while yeah. a tornado comes Anyways, yeah, that's basically what these scientists are. They just keep track of all the weather and things. And then once they find some clouds coming in, they, they'll be nasty and jump their things in there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That that doesn't seem healthy at all for the people of Dubai or the environment. And also on top of that, clearly it can go wrong. But, yeah. hey, what do I know? I'm not a multi-billionaire rich person that can do whatever they want. Yeah, Dubai is their own. They're their own thing over there. They just, they do with whatever they do. That was just something interesting that I had found out about when yeah. it came to the flood. I thought it was uh, something to bring up because I just, I was never taught that. And I just didn't know that existed. Is that, is that, would that not be on like the same level as like a global warming situation? why because like obviously we see like global warming like oh, we're making the earth hot, hotter it's fucking up the environment and whatever i feel like somehow if you do that enough and at the wrong time i don't know i just think that that can be on the same level of just like fucking up the environment well possibly but that's why they have a whole you know building and a team who tracks all well, of these they things failed. well I don't know. There might be more more behind it scientifically that they just don't really put out there. There definitely is more behind it. About. I don't think like I get that maybe it's gone right for so many years now, but that's just like you can't you can't mess with nature because obviously it's gonna fuck you back. I I just think that's a terrible idea to begin with. I don't even know why they're putting science and money into that. Just accept rain when it comes and when it doesn't, oh well. You live in a desert. What do you expect? Yeah. Because I feel like somehow, other than this incident, they could further fuck up their own environment. Possibly. I'm no scientist. I don't know what the effects could possibly be in the future, but I know that that cannot be good, putting salt in the clouds. Because is that not then going to sound like, like, that could affect the air quality, I feel. Because then you're just breathing in salt at some point. I don't know. They probably do other, other science, science things. Yeah, All I know is that that's the easy way of putting it. They just dump salt into the clouds and rain. It happens. That's stupid. That's about it. I disagree. Yeah. Any hoosies on that side of not that side of town? Where is Dubai? Oh, we are so far away from it. Just kidding. We. Ish. Let me hold up. Let me zoom out on the map here. We are definitely closer to uh, the next town I was headed towards, but what? Paris Olympics. No, <laughs> they are happening. Dubai definitely isn't near what? Paris. So what a transition. Oh, Dubai, Dubai. Where are you at? It's more, more that way. Oh, oh. It's like at the bottom. In Istanbul. Let me just type in Dubai. Yeah. I'm not going to find it. I don't even know where that shit's at. Dubai. Yeah, where did it yeah. send me? What the I fuck? I told you, it's more all the way, all the way over there. Wow, that's not even close to where I thought it was. Jeez. Oh. That shit's all the way over there by what? What's a, oh, what's a? Abu Dhabi. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they're what part of the world? very oh, Saudi. far away. Saudi Arabia. United Arab. Emirates. Oh, so it's over here in the Iran. Yeah. 
Pakistan's the of the world and the acts. Want to be at traveling Yeah, that's to. where I'm probably not allowed <laughs> to be at the moment as a military personnel. Well, we're definitely closer than I thought. Actually, no, we're no, farther. We're farther. Than I, thought. I thought that I thought that it was going to be more in like this weird Africa area under us. I mean, it kind of is, just like farther east than I thought. I thought it was going to be more in like the we're on the, or, or like that's the Jordan on the areas. other side of Iraq. Yeah, not okay. before. Oh. Any hoosies? Olympics are coming up, and yes. they are happening Other. in Paris, which is very close to home. So we did make the attempt to uh, yeah. try to go <laughs> go to the you games. Know what? I still really want to go. I know that when we were talking about it with Lynn and Womack, I was like, oh, I'm just kidding. I don't want to spend that money to go there. But like in all reality... I would totally spend the money to go out it's there. It's so stupid to spend that money, though. It's not. No, I mean, smart it is. All. It's a lot of money. And honestly, at, it's it's not worth it. At this point, yeah, it's getting cheaper and cheaper every day that, or not cheaper, more expensive every day that passes. But like, that's why this if was we a had thing bought, that needed to be planned so long ago. Yeah, I just it is worth it though. Don't get, it is one. No, yeah, definitely worth go it. if you have the chance to go, and or if and you if, just live in Europe. And if you catch the prices early enough. Yeah, like we talked about this months ago, like the possibility of us going. And if we had booked things then, then that would have been a different story. Yeah. But we were literally looking at it like a week, two weeks ago. And Paris Olympics is in June, July. Yeah, it's what we were looking at is we were looking to go to uh, one of the earlier rounds of the USA men's basketball team versus some other who the fuck knows country. Uh, but by now, when we were looking, like she just said, a week or two ago, the tickets are five hundred bucks per person, and that's not even including extra little fees for buying the tickets. That's not including Airbnb. That's not including airfare. That's not including uh, not Uber or any of that. Other than food, the thing they're gonna scan and get you in. That's yeah. literally it. And so you already know how food is in arenas like that. Yeah, for just regular games. Imagine for the Olympics, they're gonna up those prices so bad. Yeah. So that's just like we we're trying to go in a group with our friends, and everybody was just gonna meet up and make it over there. But yeah. we just decided that it was gonna be way too expensive. Like as a group, I mean, going in on an Airbnb and splitting it—that's what's gonna make it cheaper, bring down the cost of everything. But then, you know. Just, still food ubers even the, the then the airbnb themselves. was like still not even that cheap because yeah. us getting a reasonably priced airbnb where like it really wouldn't have made a, a huge dent in anybody's bank accounts those were almost an hour away from the stadium yeah so imagine trying to drive there with traffic whether you get an uber or not like ubering would have been so expensive driving yeah. that's just a rental car that we'd have to worry about and gas with gas and also making sure that well one of our friends had a license actually no we didn't we came to the conclusion yeah, that none didn't. of us have nobody has license. international driver's license so that would have had that would have had to been something we would have wow we would have needed one of those <laughs> to rent a car to begin with so there was just like so many things that started adding up that nobody was really paying attention to in the beginning everyone yeah. just thought paris we're an hour away let's go and yeah. then once we finally started breaking down the prices and like really looking at how much everything was going to be in total it just it yeah it wasn't going to be worth spending that money right now believe me i've talked a lot lately about how like now like, I'm making good money here in Italy. I am. It's just that just because I make good money doesn't make that any smarter of a purchase. Like, it just is, it was Especially way too expensive. Like just... As much as I want to see Pookie Bear, LeBron James. Ew. Oh. It's just that this is the last time, like, this is my last opportunity to go see LeBron James play in person. I'm not, like, we're not going back to the States anytime soon. Especially not to LA. Uh, he's in his 21st season. Like, he's about to be done with the NBA. And after the way the Lakers fucking lost 
you know what? I'm not even going to get... Game 2 just happened. I'm sure you guys know. Maybe Game 3 might be happening today on Friday or sometime this weekend. But, like, oh, my God. Like, he's not going to win a fifth ring this year. It's over. The Lakers are done. He's going to play, what, maybe one, maybe two more seasons? And in that time, we're not going back to America. This is my last opportunity to go see him play. I love him dearly. I would spend the money. It's just not smart. Like, I want to so bad. I want to go so bad. It's just not smart. Yeah. And, like, just the timing of the the time that it's happening. We have our anniversary in June. Oh, yeah, that too. That's already we a trip. To Rome. And then, I mean, July isn't really much, but there's a four-day weekend in there, which normally we try to take advantage of four-day weekends to get out somewhere. Yeah. Every month up until that point, just there's things happening. And also with us finally settling settling into the house. Yeah, it's just that's just going to be other expenses. Money is about to be tight for the next few months between buying furniture, furnishing up the house, going to Rome and making a trip out of that for our two year wedding anniversary. Like it's just not smart. But like, oh my god, I I wish to God that I could go because it's just, it just is. This is my la- it was my last chance, but it's officially not going to happen. And I'm we could have made it happen if. We had said yes when we first brought it up. Yeah, we could have made that happen. But and I kept time, asking about it, but nothing was ever said. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We lost our chance to get cheaper tickets and figure everything out sooner. And now it's just, it's too much. And, I mean, like we just said, Rome, furniture, moving into the house finally. And, like, it's it's about to be really expensive. So, yeah. And also, just, like, that would obviously be our first time in Paris. And after doing some research, a lot of the popular Paris touristy areas oh, yeah, are actually going to be closed because of the Olympics. Yeah. So it's like you can't even genuinely enjoy Paris because, one, it's going to be packed as hell because mm-hmm. of the Olympics. Also, because of the Olympics, things are closed. So it's just like it really wouldn't be an enjoyable time outside of the one, two-hour game that we'd go to yeah. after spending a shit ton of money yeah all that money just to not even be able to enjoy paris once that hit me because it has always been my life dream to go to paris i i realize now i've heard a lot about it oh it's dirty and whatever just like how we when we went to milan recently yeah, it's the same thing like you always have this big idea oh my god milan it's one of those big cities fashion and blah 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 bro that city is so dirty it was disgusting confetti not confetti <laughs> graffiti (laughs) graffiti (laughs) that's the wrong colorful (laughs) term (laughs) graffiti all along the walls homelessness and oh yeah obese people god that was the worst one (laughs) (laughs) um it's like i i know that paris is the same similar to that you know i've i've heard all about it it's not as great as as you might think it is but it's still my life dream and i would like to go there and be able to do you know, the things that you do in Paris as a tourist, as somebody who visits. So Yeah, and I'd yeah. rather that be a, a trip that we do yeah, I'd, for I'd, ourselves and our anniversary celebration something. Yeah, I'd rather do that some And do time. all the cutesy, lovey Paris things. I mean and get your picture in front of the Eiffel Tower, yeah. go to the Louvre, I go need to try some snail juice. N- no, or, I need to try my linguini. Oh yeah, your ratatouille thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I must go to all the spots of where Remy was roaming the streets. Yeah, just like how I did Star Wars? Yeah, okay. I'm going to go on the lake. Oh, sorry, I just touched the mic. I'm going to go on the lake where he was running, where Linguini let him loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he looks back so sad with his little eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, I will go there. Um. So yeah, any yeah. Paris Paris uh, Olympics is not happening for us. Canceled. That is... Not happening. I'm sorry, Pookie Bear. I won't be there to see you. Okay. Yes. The last time I saw LeBron play, jeez, how old was I? I think it was it was 2013 when we were on our. Um, it was either 2012 or 2013, but that season, 12, 13, when we were on our 27 game win streak, playing the Kings, we went into like 
it was either double, triple, or quadruple overtime. I think it was triple overtime. That game was fucking insane. That was the last time I saw him play. And that was a good game to watch him play for the first and last time. Yeah, I, I only have ever gotten to see LeBron play in, play in person like a couple times in my life. And that kind of sucks being how big of a fan I am. But oh well. I guess we'll just have to keep watching through not even the TV because the games are on too late here. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to just be watching him through YouTube like I do nowadays. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Next up that I recently just found. Oh, yes. Interesting. Um, this is where I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> now, you know me and conspiracies, all right? Good Lord. Is that... This... Okay. No, this did start as... The reason why my attention was drawn to it was because... What? Oh. Elf Makeup put out an ad on TikTok for their new pimple patches that are coming out. But the whole ad was a... It was like a helicopter flying with a with a pimple patch because one of the presidents or whatever had had a pimple on Mount Rushmore and then they they put it on whatever whatever that's where the whole Mount Rushmore came up on my TikTok so then I went on the comments because I just was going in the comments and then there's this one guy who said this would have been cool if I believed in Mount Rushmore and I was like huh so then obviously no. that hold on no you don't no, know where this I is don't wanna, I, no this is going nowhere where you think it's gonna go if you're about to say the mountain shut Rushmore. up let me speak so then that sparked my interest and i'm like hold up is there a mount rushmore conspiracy that i'm not aware of so then i went to go do some digging the there was no conspiracy but i did find other things that was interesting that i just i didn't know about and i don't know if many people do there is no conspiracy other than the fact that people think that the that Mount Rushmore represents something that we don't know about aside from presidents whatever but the main thing that i had found interesting oh my god <laughs> what this whole time ever since i saw mount rushmore on your phone and Typed it onto my phone like we've been talking about it. This whole time, I'm picturing Mount Everest. Oh Mount my goodness! Mount Rushmore is the with the with the faces. Of the, yes. Yeah. I. Yep. I know what they are. I just had it mixed up for a second. So two seconds ago, did you just think I was about to say that Mount Everest was fake? Yes. <laughs> because I thought no. Because I'm picturing you know big white. Mountain snow cap. See, that would have been then, valid if you were thinking Rushmore this whole time, but <laughs> you thought Mount Everest. I thought you were about to say Mount Everest isn't real. I'm like, how can you not think that's real? No. I mean, unless for wrong some... mounts. Yeah. Yeah. No. Wrong mountain, Mount Everest buddy. is definitely real. So is Mount Rushmore, by the way. Yes, it uh, is real. They exist. Okay, so then what's the what's okay? Keep going. Let me speak. Any hoosies? That's the only conspiracy there with with the heads. Wait, what? I missed that part. Yeah, because you were coming to a realization that I was talking about the freaking presidents. Yeah. And not the mountain of Everest. <laughs> um, no, there was just like people will think that there's a, a different symbolic meaning behind Mount Rushmore than just president heads. But I have heard I no such thing. Didn't really pay attention into that because that's not what piqued my interest. What I found interesting is that the the man who sculpted these heads, he the original plan was to build what was going to be called like um some kind of a hall of fame in these mountains behind was it Jefferson? One of them. It was behind one of these heads. His idea was to build like this Hall of Fame thing surrounded by glass, yada, yada, yada. That was his original idea. So then he started it in the middle of him working on these heads. But then the government was like, no, prioritize the heads. Get back to that later. But unfortunately, this man died before he could get back to finishing his project of the Hall of Fame. But he did start it. 
So it's basically right behind, which nobody sees because you're not allowed up there. You're only able to see it from the ground. If you're going from up top, actually, I don't even know if you can see it from up top anymore because they covered it. Anywho, he built this wall or this hole in, in the mountain behind the head. And it apparently holds some like secret government paperwork things that nobody knows about. <sighs> no, they that's that's not a theory. Like that's true. The government threw some things in there and they covered it with a titanium when, when wall. Did they do this when the man died so long ago. They put secret government files. Yes, because of that was his a head. That no, not in the head, in the room. Okay. There's it, the heads, and there's a path where they carved, and then on the other side of that path is a huge hole that he built because it was supposed to be a hall of fame that people can walk through. The same way that there's museums now that have a bunch of important documents of the world just in glass casings. It was going to be the same concept of where people can just walk in. There was going to be a glass wall and everything, and they were just going to have a bunch of important paperwork. The Declaration of Independence was listed that he wanted to put in there. But, like I said, he died before he could get to finishing that project because government told him not to do that yet. So he was never able to finish it. Wasn't completed in the slightest other than a hole being made through the mountain so then after the fact hall of records that's what it was hall of records not hall of fame um after the fact a government threw in some files in that hole and it is now shut and cannot be accessed which i did not know about that there was a hole back there wide open well at with that like time, a, with like a memorial block thing, keystone. Well, you can't get to it. Huh. Tourists can't get up there. You, you, there is no access unless you are landing directly on top of these heads and walking inside of that thing. That's stupid. So what? We're under the belief that so all the government is... secrets are in there? Some secrets, yeah. I don't know what, but yeah, that was his Somebody intention. Somebody break in. That's attach some TNT to that bitch, blow in. Yeah. Any hoosies. That was something I found interesting. I've never heard about that. I didn't either. That's yeah. why I was interested after doing some research, thinking that there was conspiracy theories around Mount Rushmore, but it's really just a hole in the wall that holds secrets. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. I hope somebody busts See, in one this day. See, this is all just stuff like, why weren't we ever taught about this? This happened so long. This happened in the 90s. So, this could have been in some books. I mean, But no, but we're it, just told about the heads were made. Go look at it. Well, because you just said he didn't, he died before he even got to finish it. Ideally, there's not even but anything in there. It was still a and thing the government, that was created. Well, yeah, but... It Gosh. was never completed. Like nothing is in there. No. So there's, it's pointless to even put that in a history book because there's nothing in there. And plus, they've blocked it off with apparently their government secrets. So, well, why would anybody need it, to know about it that? It could have been a little, I don't know, uh, you know, like in the textbooks, a little, did you know on the side? Oh, yeah. I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> that was always a thing in, in textbooks when well, you're just reading about certain things and there's a fun little fact there on the side of, did you know? Yada, yada, yada. They I could have put that in there for two seconds. I don't think the government would want you to know. Because they got the some things that are, secrets in there. that are hidden. Exactly. That just that proves the point that they are hiding some things. But we know that. Government is stupid. They hide everything. Yeah. Just like the moon landing. Any of these. Not the moon landing. <laughs> Shut up. You know, one of these episodes I do wanna I do wanna get into that. 
There's in in one, no world, one of these episodes, in no universe, are you going to sit here and pre- present your evidence, and I'm going to fall for it? Nope. And the people who watch back will agree with me. No, because I, I can, am right. I could say anything and find evidence for it and and make you fucking believe it. No, there is no evidence to prove that it was that it happened. Oh my god. Okay. Any hoosies, that is for future times, but I am determined to get an episode out there of where we talk about the moon landing because that is something that I am very passionate about when you, it comes to conspiracy get your theories. Shit together and we'll do it next week. That's fine. You know, I had I'm so mad that I don't have these notebooks anymore. But one summer notebooks? Yes. One summer in middle school oh my God. I did nothing but sit on the corner of my couch and watch documentaries, YouTube videos, read articles, watch interviews, and I wrote down every single thing about the moon landing. I was doing math to figure out the... To figure out what? The speed of the freaking rocket that went No, the the stuff that the rocket was made out of in order to withstand the belt that it had to go through in order to reach the moon. You did not do that math. I did, because it's not that hard. Only a well, certain. Why, why are you working at NASA then if you can do that math? Well, we could be rich. That wasn't like scientific hard math. There's only so much that can pass through that belt. If it's not made out of what that, belt? it's not making it through without freaking melting. Oh, like the, what's it called? The stratosphere? One of the spheres? Yes. On, on, uh, what's the other one? Nope, that's the only one I know. <laughs> Any hoosies, <laughs> I spent literally that whole summer just researching all of that and looking at so many things and i am a hundred percent certain that the moon landing was fake but we will save all details for a later podcast we'll just do it, we'll just do it in the next podcast <sighs> gotta make time on my schedule to get all my materials better get your shit together i will meet you right here on this bed <laughs> next week for you to present your evidence and when you're done i'm gonna call bullshit go ahead because. <laughs> I'm right. Sure. It's funny how after every single person that came forward that was there on the rocket, that claimed to be on the rocket, died right after. After they said some things. It's so funny. When it comes to NASA, the amount of people that die after interviews because they release things that they weren't supposed to. Any hoosies, let's move on before this goes into a deep discussion of things. Sure. Here's do your next talk. I, just, I don't know what this topic means either. Other than the... Um, name of it stepping away from world news and current events this is just i mean you know we're we're stepping into this to this life of social media yes which the life that i never really wanted for myself but yeah you know what i'm starting to grow into it i i like it because i'm starting to take pride in my work as far as you know the video editing and being able to show my life and and i don't know give something to people because lately yeah. when we when we just hit three thousand subscribers thank you all by the way again oh yes we um did. it that was uh, that was like damn another thousand that's pretty crazy anybody who would have told anybody could have thought like ah oh, they're just starting they're never gonna get there but like in a year we've done three thousand that to me is pretty crazy yeah. and And that's, 3,000 probably doesn't sound like a lot, but the reason why certain creators or YouTubers or whatever skyrocket so fast is because they start blowing up on other platforms and then they get to YouTube. YouTube has always been something that comes after you blow up on a thing. So like back then, Vine was really huge and that's where people went viral. Like that's what was... That was TikTok before, and so many people would go viral on Vine, and then that's when they kind of jumped into YouTube and creating those kind of videos, and then just, like, that time period of YouTube, like, what, 2016? Mm -hmm. 18? It's anywhere in the 2010s. I think, like, 16 to 18 in that time period. That's, like, where OG YouTube creators happened, but they already started growing their platform on other things mainly vine like that's really what was around 
or musically musically was really tiktok that's what transitioned from yeah um tiktok to whatever yeah i mean three thousand in a year i think that's pretty remarkable and like i was about to say i i thought about it when we hit three thousand wait 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 i wasn't i was talking first i was yeah but i didn't even get to my point okay fine before you continue because this was just a valid point to point out there I was going to say that we did it the opposite way. We oh, started yeah. strictly on YouTube and then we were like, you know what? We should probably step into TikTok and focus on that in order to get some people onto our YouTube because that's like the traditional way of doing it and the easiest, I guess. Even then, it's still not easy because that's still a work in progress. But mm-hmm. we did it backwards. So we started on YouTube and we still got up to 3,000 subscribers literally starting from nothing because we weren't viral we just decided to start making videos and throw it on youtube and see what happens and then we truly built our following up from nothing of not being known on anything yeah so that's that's the difference between most people who start blowing up on all these platforms because they already have that initial thing that blows them up And then obviously you already have a following. So no matter what you make, those people are just going to follow you on all platforms. Yeah. So we're starting from the very bottom. Yeah. I find that very frustrating sometimes that people nowadays will do anything for a quick clip or a, or a, you know, something to go viral. And then that's just kind of where it goes from there. Like the other day, like, yeah, we're taking a more genuine approach. Yeah, not last week, but I think the week before I was on a vlog complaining about how, like, speed, I just don't, like, I don't get it. But I realized, like, last night or the night before that, like, he's just, he's just willing to be crazy. Like, he just is crazy. That's his personality on the internet. So that's why he's, he has such a large following. But, like, at the same time, the crazy shit that he does, like, it's it, to me i find it as degeneracy like why are you why why is it that anything you do you're barking and when he hit 24 million subscribers the other day the first thing he did was run down the hall and run back and dive into his fucking computer set like if that's what it takes i don't want to do it like i don't i don't want i don't want this to man was humping an alligator and in- yes right now he's <laughs> in florida and i just saw the video on twitter this and morning he of barked. him you he barked he's like i'm gonna bark Right. Yeah. Barking and fucking he is an alligator. So stupid. But like, like dude, like it that's what blows like, up. Like what now. am I supposed to say? Like I'm gonna complain because it's just frustrating that that that's like really, really. I mean you can you can say that about so many creators. Like Yeah. Like, good good for Charlie D'Amelio for you know, blowing up the way that she has and she has this amazing life and just one of the most followed tiktokers in history now but like she blew up because somebody liked her dancing there was nothing special to her compared to the hundreds of other people that were dancing on tiktok during covid she just got she was the lucky one and now she's multi-millionaire because she did a tiktok dance that was literally it yes she's talented she's a really good dancer when it comes to that kind of thing but like the reason why she blew up on tiktok was because she was doing a tiktok dance it wasn't even her showing how she actually dances in the studio yeah so it's it's that's, really just luck and it's so frustrating like the algorithm and just how things work for yeah. people but real quick before we get to the actual topic of life as an influencer because that's whatever when we hit 3000 as i was gonna say is I just realized that 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 pridefulness in my work that I'm starting to take and like and and taking into account that I might actually have a positive effect, we might have a positive effect on somebody's day, just like make them smile, make them laugh, something that they can take away from a video, whether it's maybe a good example of a good couple, hopefully, like I think we're a good couple, <laughs> especially for being so young um yeah just things like that like i'm starting to take notice of that and take pride in that so hopefully we can build upon that going forward and you know get to four thousand five thousand ten thousand twenty hundred thousand million 
just keep climbing the fucking ladder. I'm excited. But keep going about this because I still don't know what this is supposed to mean. Um, my head a brain fart. Sorry. Where was I trying to go with that? Um. Oh, I mean, we're we're jumping into this new thing in life and putting our lives out there. But I mean, all things are good, and you do get some good things out of that. But with putting your life and everything on social media, there's obviously some negatives some cons to it um specifically that had put it put a light bulb in my brain whatever bobbers for talking about this on the podcast our one of our favorite youtubers uh faith and ethan ethan Payne and faith or i don't even know her i don't know Terrible. or faith it's, louis faith no, lewis lucy Lusak. Uh, oh, that's the AK. I thought it was just some bullshit thing that she put at. I thought it was Lewis. Anyways, Alaska? She yeah, AK. Faith <laughs> Lewis, Alaska. I don't know. But Ethan Payne from the Sidemen uh, and obviously his girlfriend now and baby fiance. mama. Oh, ooh, yes. Fiance. They just got engaged. Congratulations, guys. We love you. Fiance slash mother of his child. Yes, they have, their a, podcast they their have a podcast called The Growing Pains, which yes. is so perfect. Who would have ever thought about that name? Pains is spelled the way that Ethan's last name is spelled. Because, you know, growing families, yada, yada, yada. It's such yeah. a clever name. Yeah, that is really cute. Any hoosies. Um, a recent event happened to Faith that really just kind of opens your eyes when it comes to social media and just being careful of what you post and which is why like sometimes i've even like made comments to him that like we should probably make sure that that's blurred out or make sure we don't show this or take that out if something's visible even though we are in europe yes we're in italy but you just never know who your content reaches and who watches your videos and how mentally stable some people are who watch videos because obviously Technology is, is the biggest thing nowadays. So that's just like the place to go if you know you are trying to be a creep or whatever. But Faith had a situation where this person literally mailed a letter to their home address stating their name and that they've been following them for a while. Like not following them on social media, like literally stalking them and that they know where they live they know their neighborhood they know all this information and they put that in the letter that they sent to their house and it was because faith had posted this video of her going on a run to the grocery store and back to her house and she still didn't even show too much but I guess for those who are creepy and just not all there, who really do find enjoyment, I guess, in stalking people like this and putting two and two together, the one thing that she did show was the grocery store that she was going to, and she showed the plaza. And I guess if you are from an area, like if I saw a picture of a plaza back in Florida, I could probably tell you where it was from because, I mean, you see it every day. So if you are from that area or you're familiar with it, I guess you might know certain buildings or whatever so you can't put two and two together but this guy literally said like i saw the the grocery store that you were at and the location of the plaza i looked it up and then found the location of that store and then just followed the rest of faith's video and looking at the background of certain buildings and houses and then he was like i was able to figure out the route that you were taking because of the buildings that you were showing That's in the so background. Fun. This man had found every detail and put things together to find exactly where Faith and Ethan lived. And that just kind of like, it's scary to think about because for one, they already just don't show their kid online. Like her face, her face gets blurred and everything for reasons like this, because people are freaking creeps. That's another reason why ddg just had his baby with hallie they are refusing they to also show... don't show their child yeah they refuse camera. to show halo's face because of weirdos like you 
And like for, I mean, the, I guess they're both two main things, but like their whole thing with that is obviously like they're a child, so they can say what they're okay with and what they're not. So if they don't want to be on social media, then they're not going to put them on social media. But it's also to protect the privacy of the child because people are such creeps and you just, you never know who's out there and who's watching. And for them to literally have a person who knows exactly where they live and know the routes that Faith likes to do her walks with her child, like, that's just so scary. And, you know, if you watch them or not, but, like, Faith is like very anxiety filled and like she already just doesn't like doing things with her child in public because of situations like this which i'm assuming why they might have not released um the podcast that week last week yeah yeah because that's because a few days before the podcast was supposed to come out that's when she had posted on like that monday or tuesday she posted the letter on instagram just saying like this is why i'm so protective of my child and you were, you're a creep and police report was made or whatever, but the podcast yeah, wasn't so released that, that that week. So and that's also why they recently had got that that German Shepherd uh, guard yes, dog. They have a beast. Yeah, they, they got, got this like like terrorizing. probably a champion breed, fully grown like two year old German Shepherd that is already fully trained. But now they're like getting it accustomed to the house. They're still having it trained, like, every day, probably. Yeah, these are, they got it from a company that, like, specifically trains, like, guard dogs. Yeah, so. So it's already, it's been trained. It's, yeah. it, this is what it's been accustomed to, yeah. but now it's just getting the dog familiar with the house, and then they um practice with some, like, home break-ins to, like, get yep. the dog prepared for that, like. God forbid that creep ever does anything and tries to pull up on their house, because that German Shepherd will fuck his whole life up. Yeah, no that's, bullshit. That's Tear his arm off. Yeah. So that's just like... And you want to get a fucking wiener dog. Oh, my wiener. He's just a baby. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be left alone because he there's, it's not like he can do shit. Well... God forbid somebody tries to do something to this house while I'm at work or some shit like that. And we have a wiener dog. Well... Like, Obi-Wan Kenobi is a, such a beautiful name, and I love it. <laughs> but what the fuck is he going to... He's not going to whip out a lightsaber. He doesn't have the force. He's a wiener dog. Yeah, he's so he's a cute little baby. Well, at that point, it is what it is. Not much I can do. Oh, my God. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> I'm going to throw a chair at him because I, I'm, I'm not allowed to have a gun here, so I can't even, you know, protect myself there. You better use I, this light bar I as need a to buy, lightsaber. Like, yeah, I need to, like, keep something in this room. I actually, I honestly do because I mean I'm I'm home by myself and there are no weapons in this place because you're not allowed to have weapons, unlike where I could have had something in the states. But like, I'm genuinely by myself and yeah. I'm always on this side of the house. And in order for me to get to the kitchen to grab a weapon, I would have to cross the front door, which is probably the main entrance of where this burglar yep. would come in. Any whoosies. Um. This is why, at the very <laughs> least, we should get the damn staffy. That way, it's at least a bull breed. It's up for discussion. And it has some level of aggression or something in it. Oh, my God. If a wiener dog really tried to... <laughs> if Obi-Wan Kenobi attempts Listen, to fuck up a burglar... He is... He's the man. No. Yes. I will have him. him just stay propped up at the door. What is he going to do? Kill the burglar with cuteness? Yeah. No. This is why we need a bigger dog. I've always wanted a bigger dog breed. And now that we're doing all this social media shit, this is especially why I want a bigger dog breed. I'm going to go ahead and, and get in contact with Ethan and, and Faith because I need to know where they got that German Shepherd from God, and how much it costs. Way too much. They said it costs more than the horse. Well, I you know how much it, you know how much a horse is? Well, Jesus. You know what? If that's what it takes. <laughs> Because I yeah. leaving you here alone all day with that potential thing happening <laughs> does not make me feel good. And then when we get to having kids and shit, my God, wiener dog. Well, I said <laughs> we would get a staffie at some point. I think we should do that first, if anything. Oh, my wiener dog. We can get your weenie. I just think, you know, 
for safety and and for better family dog. It's a better family dog. So is a weenie. He's so cute. They're friends. A weenie will not. They they're the same size. No, they're not the same size. <laughs> and and a staffy can actually get aggressive. Whatever. We will. I want a little blue seal. That's up for later discussions. Yeah, yeah, the seal. Yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah, those um, those are are things that are just not fun to deal with. There's also this other. Yeah. What's this thing uh, that's been going around on TikTok? Unfortunately, I mean, this is. This goes more into why you need to be careful about posting your kids specifically. This has nothing to do with like us really. I just wanted to shed some light on this topic of things. But there's this mom and daughter. I don't even know if like anybody else in the family is involved or where their dad is or what the situation is. But he's never shown in the videos. Anyways, there's this mom and mom and daughter. They have a TikTok. Daughter's like four years old. But they have a pretty big following. And recently, it became a problem where people started noticing that the mom is, like, posting videos that can be looked at inappropriately on purpose. And this poor child is just... The the kind of videos that they post are, like, she's eating certain foods that she's never tried before. She's doing random activities in her room she's playing with certain toys she's like she's just doing yes oh the but the mom is these are the kind of videos that get posted it's literally just of her daughter doing certain activities but the certain things that she makes her do makes it look inappropriate especially the the things the clips of it like there's one video of where she made her daughter try there was like that, that, you know, that whole trend where like people were making like gummy versions of like sodas and like they would squeeze it out the bottle and then it comes to like a big long gummy. No. Well, there is a trend where like people were just making gummy versions of like Cokes and honey or whatever. It's literally just like a gummy sugary thingy with bobber that it would get turned into. But she did that with honey. And the way that it comes out it it looks like a wiener so she has she's recording her daughter eating this thing but it looks so wrong because she first of all the thumbnail of the video is her holding is the mom holding the bottle with the thing like curved out the gummy and her daughter sitting right behind it and then she's recording her eating it but you can imagine the the motions of her mouth that she's that the daughter's doing trying to eat this little honey popsicle thing which is all just like inappropriate to watch and just to post that is just weird and then there's other videos that she posts of her daughter doing like flips in the room but she's wearing a dress and you can see under the dress where are, where are these videos tiktok I can't yeah i can't remember their names cuz i feel like No, it's inappropriate because people, so she put out this video saying, I've contacted the FBI, basically just saying, I talked to the FBI, everything that you're saying is wrong. Nothing has been, like, my daughter isn't involved in any kind of pornography or whatever. And then she's like, if you have, if you have facts or if you have things, um, things stating otherwise, then contact me, yada, yada, yada. So then so many people came forward of all of these creepy men. There's videos, there's pictures, there's comments, there's literal videos of people recording themselves, touching themselves to the picture of this child. Oh, well. And then there's comments. This is a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like no, a it's not something cute. of no, a video. No, it's not cute at all. There's a hundred plus videos responding to that one video that the mom posted saying like come forward then if you're saying all these things about my daughter so all these people came forward they took screenshots of all the comments 
of the amount of Instagram pages that have been made of the daughter and the people that are following these accounts are a bunch of old men and the comments on them are like, oh, I would I would love to have that little girl or a bunch of hard eyes and just like nasty comments. Well, that's just disgusting. And you... this goes on Oof. and on. And there are so many videos that the mom posts because she knows it's going to get views, but she blocks the comments. She finally turned off the comments because... I mean, she knows what people are going to say, but there's so many things that if you like, I'll find the account and I'll show you what that looks like so you can have a better understanding of it. But she posts videos that you can clearly tell that like she's doing it on purpose and that she's purposely choosing the clips that can be turned into something else. Like there is this one specific video, you know, like in the mall, they have those animals that you can ride. Oh, yeah, a little, the ring around ones. Well, not that thing, but, like, actually, I don't know if you've been to the mall, because that might have been something you added after you left. There's a, there's a thing in, in Pembroke Lakes by one of the Macy's or whatever. Yeah. And it has, like, the animals that you can ride around. Like, it's its own single animal that you can, like, drive it around in a circle. Drive it? Yeah, it's its own little animal. Not like the one in Sawgrass where you... No, not the one that's connected uh, on the uh, carousel. No, 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 no. I don't know. Well, anyways, that she took a video of her daughter riding this horse. But the Oh, specific, wait, those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But the difference between this animal thing, they actually sell these in stores. Like, you, you can buy this kind of toy specifically for your kid. In order for them to move, you have to bounce up and down. <laughs> that's the only way that it moves Wait. and she recorded her daughter riding that horse well, I mean, that is... and posted it, it okay. but posting that after you see all the accusations okay, that are being that said about your daughter definitely don't but if it was just like a one-off and then video, and then like, on she posted it in slow-mo oh well, that's weird that's what i'm saying like you can tell that this mom just like she doesn't care and she continues to post all of these videos yeah like, it's got, it's nah. so bad. Like, the amount of, like, the hole that I went down just watching all the videos of the people replying to her, like, telling her, like, hey, this is everything that's happening. Look at all these people doing all these things. Like, I've seen so many videos, and the fact that she still continues to post about her daughter like that and just chooses to ignore it and still comes forward saying, like, well... FBI said there's nothing, so I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Like, your daughter is clearly, like... And that's that's what sucks about, about it for her, is, like, the daughter just doesn't know. She's four years old. Find out one day. And that's what people are saying. Like, it's sad to see that this is what her mom is doing, and then she's going to have to grow up and realize and see all these things. Wait, and... you said the dad? Where's the dad? Well, that, that's what people are asking. Like, why has nobody else stepped in from the family stopping this? Because if you were a grandparent, if you were the father, hmm. that's what people are asking. Like, where is everybody else in this family that nobody's contacting her or, like, telling her something? Because she doesn't post about him. She doesn't post about him. Well, Their channel is specifically surrounded hmm. by the daughter. And her. Uh, and that's gross. that's just that's why you have to be careful about what you post about your kids. Yeah. That's already its own situation with like the mother putting her out there. But seeing that because she is a cute little girl and people are creeps, these all these pages that have been made about her and all these comments of all these old men saying all these things about this little girl like that's why people choose not to post pictures or videos of their kids face and like visibly showing what they look like yeah edg said it best himself y'all are weird he wasn't lying you people out there are weird yeah and it, it gets so bad like yeah if people ever... do things that you wouldn't even think about doing yeah, if we, if we ever get to a point, 
no, just in general. I'm not even get. I'm not even gonna get and like, to and it, say fame or anything. It sucks too because, I like, think. obviously, you want to be able to post pictures and videos of your kids and like just enjoying life together. Yeah, but I, you have to be careful because of situations like that. I think with the current track that we're on, we're probably gonna have to end up doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. that's just. In regard, like in the regular sense, like what we were just talking about with Faith and Ethan, like, yeah, they're big enough to where before you even get to that point of hearing about other people doing weird shit, they're just, they're taking that precaution because as you should, you're famous. You're, you're literally one of the biggest people in England. You should take that precaution. But if you're just like a, you know, a small time, but still big youtuber with a couple million or whatever it is that you do yeah people are weird man probably shouldn't do that to that mother like seriously i hope she stops that's just that's just not okay especially after being told and shown the proof of all the things going on she needs to stop that's just one of your things like this kind of I don't even know how I'm about to connect this, but this just goes back to bad parenting for me on the whole, uh, all these parents blaming the social media CEOs for their kids dying and getting bullied and all this bullshit, like, bull fucking shit that's on the CEO to be the, the, the father or mother of your child on social media. If you are a parent, monitor your kid's phone. The fuck, like, there's no reason you should be blaming a whole other, a whole company for your child's death, bullying, or whatever the f case. And in this case specifically, this mother is just being a bad mother. You're basically slutting out your little girl. Yeah. That's, That's horrible. Do better. That's all I have to say on the matter. We're probably going to end up taking the same precautions that Faith and Ethan will one day. And I pray to God nothing happens to this family. Otherwise, that that same thing that we were just talking about the other day when we were talking about, like, oh, shit, our house is haunted. And, like, sometimes I have this, like, <laughs> weird... That feeling's gone away, by the way. I don't, I don't feel like Maybe something... Gone. I don't feel like something is in this house anymore. But the feeling of like being ready still remains like i think right now i'm just in a in a mentally just like i'm fucking like i'm doing life right now like i don't have time for bullshit get out of my way i'm kind of set i'm i'm like settling into that mindset right now where i'm just trying to lock in to work we're starting to settle into the house like i'm about to lock back into life right now and anything happens like you're you're done don't got time yeah 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 superman over here masculinity Ugh, testosterone already <laughs> any hoosies that was just um some current topics that have come up recently some things to shed some light on i don't know Yep, not you, bad. You do what you want with that information. To lighten it up the mood a bit, I thought that we should end our podcast with a few fun questions just to, I don't know, add something fun. Just to add, you know, something a little, what's what's the word? Spice it up. No, not official, but like just to have something consistent in our a podcast, segment? I guess. Possibly, I don't know. Well, that this is the idea I was trying to do, like the the thing that Faith and Ethan do. Look, man, I don't have an, any problem with, like copying their podcast <laughs> word for word because I love their podcast. <laughs> but I think we should. We this is a good idea. Yeah, this is what whatever, I was suggesting before. Whatever that word is, is just to like have something consistent throughout our podcast. Is just like ending with some fun questions that we can talk yeah, about. A question, a challenge, like something. Like, Especially when it comes to our um, deeper conversations, just to lighten it up before we end the day, you know, yeah. and to have you feeling feeling good after yeah, listening. You so you then, off our YouTube channel. 
So then you don't feel like so sad and, and stressed and feel so scared in life with certain things that we talk about. If we've given you any sad or <laughs> no, why well, does feel like with the things energy. that I just talked about? Like if people are genuinely listening, then that's just like some things that start sparking up in your mind of like, oh shit, I should probably be more careful with this kind of stuff. So like, don't be frightened. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay because we have fun this is, questions. This is <laughs> no. Is this like the equivalent of watching a scary movie and then going to go watch Elmo after? Yeah. Sure. Well, this isn't something that I mean, like, I only want to do questions after a time that we're talking about, like, deep and scary conversations. I'm. That's just the situation for right now. Like, I wouldn't want to end a podcast leaving you guys feeling scared for your lives and then being like, all right, have a good day. Like, let's just, we, can, we can line it up a bit. Okay, sure. Yeah. Let's Let's get to the questions. Okay. All right, so the first one we got down here is what's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? You go first. Dude, uh, oh, fuck, fuck. Oh. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> you spat Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we're, not, we're not on a time constraint here. I was thinking, no. like, I gotta go. <laughs> um, I just, just had a spasm hit. there. <laughs> um... That's actually a good... Wait, didn't we... When we first got here to Italy, when we first went downstairs to the little restaurant oh, the of the hotel, the duck tongue. <laughs> and But it was delicious. I yeah, liked it. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, they put some nice little sauce on it. it. The meat tasted like, like some good chicken. And that was good. Or like it was kind of steaky. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was gummy, textury, steak type. But it was good. It yeah, wasn't it was bad. Good. Like if... I think I had hesitated at first or like fell off by it because I knew it was duck. If I had like closed my eyes and somebody just fed that to me, I would have been like, oh, okay, this isn't bad. Yeah. But that was an interesting thing. I don't yeah. know if we've ever had duck before. Yeah, I would say that. I don't think I've ever. Anything non edible that you still chose to eat? eat? <laughs> Maybe my boogers as a child. Ew. I, everybody does that. <laughs> <laughs> You're yucky. Uh,. <laughs> No, I don't think I've ever done or tried to eat some, like, crazy-ass shit before. Mm, no. I think that duck tongue would be it. Well, I have. And that's the only reason why I put this question on there. Because oh. it was something nasty that I just felt like talking about. What did you eat? I dipped a Dorito in dirt and ate that. A full clump of dirt. Well, that just confirmed to me that you have autism. Ew, you tooted. Yeah, I farted. What about it? You ate dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I was like six. Everybody just and grabs things and put things in their mouth and eats it. Pause. <laughs> I don't know. That's you're. That's a young. That's just like the age that you just do crazy things like that. Yeah, that's why I said when I was a child, I ate my boogers like everybody else. I didn't I dip a Dorito in a clump of dirt and eat it. Yeah, we were in the, we were in the, this was in El Paso. And this is what us Mexican oh, kids God. do. Well, of course you did that in El Paso. There's nothing to do but eat dirt there. Yeah, I was at my cousin. I had some, Boring one of the ever. hundred cousins parties. I just... I don't know if we were playing like truth or dare or we were just being stupid. I and I was just like, you know, I'm going to do it. And I, I just took a Dorito chip. I dipped it in the dirty mud and I ate it. And it was nice and grainy with a hint of Dorito. You're disgusting. That is the strangest thing I've ever eaten. But I think if it was something that like had to be edible, I think I would say the duck tongue. I don't think I've eaten anything like yeah, I don't, crazy. I've never... Because I know people that, like, in Florida, you can eat, like, gators, like, snake and shit. But I'd never got to that as a Floridian. Does that make me a fake Floridian? Mm, I don't think so. Have I eaten gator? I might have I eaten gator. gator. I'm not going to include Wait, different Wait, I think fish. I have eaten gator before. It's just chicken. Yeah, but I think I have. But I don't know if that's... Because if, if that's the case, then it was probably, like, a, like a gator foot or, like, a gator... Tail or some bullshit. Probably tail. Like a duck tongue. I think that's weirder. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no, the duck yeah, tongue. No, yeah, definitely. I'm thinking of that. Yeah, because that one looked like a tongue. Yeah. Gator is just chicken looking. Yeah. You could probably uh, throw breading around it 
easily think it's just a regular chicken tender. Yeah, the the tongue definitely looked like there was an intestine on my plate. Yeah. Any hoosies? Next question. On to the next. What's your favorite date we've been on? This was honestly, like, I almost didn't want to put this on here because I feel like we could get into a long discussion about this, but I thought it was cute. Oh, this is a pretty easy question for me. Oh, really? The first one. Now, what do you classify as our first date? You know what I classify as a first date. The very, very first? Yep. That. The... What about our real first date? Do you even know what our real first date was? No. I do. That was our real first date. No, our official no, 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 no. as boyfriend and girlfriend officially. What was Bullshit. our first date? Bullshit, because I can go on a date with another girl right now, and just because we're not dating, that doesn't not make it the first date. You date before... Sometimes you go on dates before no. making it official. No. Yeah, because that's that's how you even get to being a boyfriend and girlfriend. You date. No. I mean as a boyfriend no. girlfriend. No, no, no. Our first official date was the day after we started talking again <laughs> on Black Friday. That's how much game I have, by the way. Literally after like five years of no contact. Wait, four years after no contact. Her that having a boyfriend, fine. I swipe up on her Instagram, uh, or not Instagram, her Snapchat, Snapchat story with some hard eyes. Since then, we have not stopped talking. And other than basic, but even then, yeah, still other than some basic training and calls. Yep, and we still sent letters. So really, we never stopped talking <laughs> after I swiped up on your story with hard eyes that day. And yeah. throughout that conversation, I was just like, ah, let me throw it out there. Hey, you want to hang out tomorrow? She said yes on site. So, which is still so crazy. That's how I truly like. God, things really just fell into place and was truly meant to happen because I'm not going to dive too deep into this because we have a full our full story of our relationship on YouTube. You can go watch that. It's juicy and entertaining. Yeah, but But, it's not the full story. I want to tell that one day. No, yeah, we. I do want to. I don't know if a podcast or a YouTube video Probably where we make a true how we ended up together. I have it written in my notes actually, or yeah. I did at some point. I was mad when we made that video. Are telling our yes, story. Yes, a lot of things were clipped out for... because <laughs> I kept wanting to talk about things, but then because she wanted to save her own embarrassment, whatever the fuck that means, we cut a bunch of shit out. So it was stay like a tuned. Bunch. There it was, was a bunch, there was especially like, stuff that's crucial to our I don't relationship. Think so. There was like two things that we could have said happened that we didn't. No, was there was it. there was a bunch of things that you didn't want to talk about, and it was stupid. But anyways, any hoosies, stay tuned. Um, it'll come. Oh, as I was saying, things truly were just meant to happen because at this time, yes, I had a boyfriend, but I wasn't even allowed mm-hmm. to go out with him for one, like. We could not be alone together. So dates in that relationship out of the four years that happened, I can count them on my single hand because we weren't allowed to be alone. But. I never miss a shot. But. I'm him. But. My mother, not even knowing who he was, she knew of him. But, like, she didn't put two and two together that the same Philippa that I had dated when I was 12 years old was this Philippa that was asking me to go out that day. She just didn't put two and two together. But for some reason, she still said yes. And this woman and nobody else would let me be alone with my boyfriend at the time or any other male or just I wasn't allowed to go out to begin with. But all of a sudden, he comes out of nowhere. Literally not even speaking about him before asking or just like letting her know like, hey, he asked to go to the mall or so and so like, can I go? Nothing. I I can't tell you exactly how that conversation went because I don't remember word for word. But I do remember her saying like after the fact that like after she saw you when she dropped me off at the mall, that that's just not who she thought I was hanging out with. But she still said yes. She said yes to me going out with somebody who she really didn't know at the moment. And for one, letting me go out with a boy alone who, like, that just wasn't even allowed. But I was still able to, you know, have the night with him. That was just so funny that that happened. And just, like, any time that he was at our house or me going out with him, like, I was only allowed to be with this man. (laughs) If that doesn't tell you God is real, I don't know what does. She did not let me go out with anybody. 
but mm-hmm. I could spend hours, hours, just the full hours. day with him oh, going, God. going God knows where, because we would just adventure and drive around yeah. all the time just to spend time with each other. For all her parents knew, I could have came and picked her up one day and been like, oh, we're going to go to Smoothie King and then just kidnapped her. Or yeah. some other bullshit. There were a lot of ice cream trips, Wendy's trips, Smoothie King trips, which some of them were true, and then some of them were, were lies to cover up <laughs> other activities. Yeah, but that was towards the end when we were closer, when we were like about to start dating slash starting dating. That, yeah. I mean, at that At that point, it didn't really matter. We were basically already together at that point when yeah. we started lying. But <laughs> when at first, and for like that first like year, year and a half of our friendship, like, we were genuinely going out to eat. We were genuinely yeah, going. Yeah, we went to the movies. Yeah. No, we, we did went shit to for real. Movie and the dinner. But that was our first date. When I asked you, "Hey, do you want to hang out tomorrow?" After literally not talking to you for four years, and then you said yes because out of all here, of our dates, though, that's your favorite. Yes, because don't you remember how like like magical that was? That like after after years of no contact, we pull up and we have the most fun. Like we literally, like chemistry was there, one hundred percent, no hesitation. Yeah, zero. But still, out of all the things that we've done so and all the places that we've gone to, that's still going to be your favorite. Yes, because that was the first time I got to see you for myself in like four years, five years, and again, the immediately comfort the immediate comfortability. Like we were best friends immediately. There was nothing bad about that, and the reason I say that was my. Our first date is because when she said yes, I said, okay, it's a date. And I heard no objection. <laughs> so she didn't say you no. You referred to every outing as a date. Because they were dates. Mm-hmm. Yep. They were dates. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's how it happens. You got you to gotta hang out. You got to date and then put a title on it. We just couldn't officially put the title because you were already having a title with somebody else Uh loser i win yeah 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 that's my favorite one for like by far and away (laughs) and and the second best part of that whole date was not only how good it went but then like when i was driving her home oh my goodness you bring this up uh, every (laughs) single time (laughs) when i was driving her home right you gotta bust this left like a u-turn at a light and boy mm. it is a tight u-turn if you don't do it correctly yep it's a tight U-turn, a tight little turn, and I took it so smoothly. And she was like, damn, that's smooth. I'm like, it's the only way I know how. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yep. Bro, it's I was on my weirdo. A-game that day. I was on my A-game. Bro, I'm him. I'm telling you. If Again, if that don't tell you that God is real, I don't know what does. There's no <laughs> way. There's no way your parents just allowed that. It, it, yeah, that and, will and there was no hesitation. There was no hesitation. Never makes sense to me because anytime that I would just go out with friends, they're still asking like for information, like where are you going, who's there, who are you going with, who's driving. Like there was always questions behind it, and I and just boys in general, that was never a thing that wouldn't have been allowed. Other, well, just with that specific boyfriend, I just wasn't allowed, but. Yeah. It was just a quick, okay. Yeah, dude, like, she couldn't even hang out with her boyfriend. so crazy. Could barely hang out with friends, but then I doesn't even know who I am. Yes. God is real. God did. Remember what Ryan Garcia said after the fight? He took a second. He, they asked him a question. I don't even know what the reporter said. Silence. God did. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. What's your favorite date? You didn't get to answer. No, I didn't, because we went on a full tangent. Um, that's honestly so hard because I mean, you want to consider every outing as a date. They were. We've been... every time I said, "Okay, it's a date." No, I know, but I'm not just talking about specifically. Like we still go on dates now. There's still dates. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We've been on so many, we, so many uh, good dates. We've been on a lot, but that's my favorite one. God, it's so so hard to say. I don't think I could even give you a specific time without sitting here for like 10 Why minutes. Why would you put this question down if you can't even answer it? Because I, I was really just thinking about your answer because I was just curious. I was like, you know oh what? I want to. <laughs> Why don't you I worry don't about yourself because I, think... I can answer this. Shut up. I don't know. I think our. our uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Our Alieska trips were fun in Alaska. Trips? Is that really a date? Like a weekend long date? We still would go on dates. Or we would go on a little dinner date. Spa day dinner thing. I don't know. It's honestly really hard to put together all the places that we've been and to pick one. I enjoyed my birthday dates, but yeah, like there's just so many At there's Lake Como, so many places on ones. and that I think that's what I was thinking when I um when I chose a question. I'm like, honestly, I think experience wise, Lake Como recently would be the best of to all our dates. From. Well, that's gotta be recency bias, no way. But like the whole experience as a whole, like that's that's been the most on a date that we've been to. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I get it. I'm not. We gonna, have a lot I'm not going to say it's a bad pick. We do have a lot of things. For me, first one, favorite all time, for sure. Yeah, it was a fun time. Any hoosies? Let's not go too long now. Yeah. Uh, earliest time you remember lying to your parents? <laughs> I've been trying to think, and I don't really know. I was, I'm pretty sure it was some like dumbass shit about school. Like, oh, did you do your homework or like, or why were you absent? Like, oh my god, like I was totally there. Like, bullshit. I don't know. You weren't just a bad child and wouldn't lie to them when you were younger. No, because I'm not a fucking <laughs> idiot. I'm not like you. Shut up. I was a troubled child. In okay? fourth grade, I think the worst thing that happened was, uh. I was supposed to turn in an assignment. I refused to do it, so I didn't turn it in. And then the teacher called my parents, but then they had been looking for me for hours because I refused to go home. And then eventually I showed up to the house, like, putting on my Oscar-worthy sad boy performance, talking about, like, oh, like, I totally just got bullied by some kids and whatever. Like, they took my backpack. Like, even though I went around the house and put the backpack in the garbage can. <laughs> And just so I can get out of trying to do this fuck ass assignment, like I don't know why I went to that link because that could have ended up in a really serious issue. Yeah, what if they went and like reported something? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just told him like, oh, I barely saw him. Like he literally just beat me up like twenty minutes ago. <laughs> like he literally just came over, like clocked me in the side of the head, and took my backpack. I don't know. Like I made up some bullshit story, and then in the end, we determined. Like, I got caught in the lie because that was such an outrageous fucking lie to tell instead of just saying I didn't do it. I don't know. I got caught on the lie. It was stupid. That's the earliest one that I can remember. I'm sure that there were others, but I never really, like, there was a lot of times that I, I lied by omission, but I didn't actually ever, I don't recall ever actually lying. Because then that's just messy, right? You You lie... And then you got to keep this up, and then it just it it gets messy. So if I ever lied, yeah, it was by my, omission. My parents knew knew the truth until I left the house. Yeah, I only ever lied by omission. If you didn't ask it specifically, I'm not going to answer it specifically. I would be as vague as possible whenever I'm trying to be sketchy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm on that. Interesting. Well, I have some two crazy situations, and I don't remember which one came first. So I'm just gonna say two, but this is this is what started this is what started my trouble years. The first one was oh, and I was either six, seven, or eight at both of these times. I can't remember it, things are blurry at that time, but I was like seven or eight. Um, the first one, I stole my cousin's phone because I wanted a phone. Or I had got mine taken away. So I stole her phone. And then I took it home with me. But, you know, my dumb butt was not aware of, like... Excuse you! Yeah, I farted. What are you going to do about it? You're disgusting. Um, I was not aware of the, the people tracking the phone. Alright, so... 
I was on the way back home from coming from my cousin's house, had the phone with me, and I was like, ha ha ha, I got it, suckers. Kept it with me. I didn't turn it off, but I had it with me. I wasn't on it. And then I went to take a little nap in the back seat while we were on the way home. And then all of a sudden, a buzzing starts going off. I was like, oh shit. And then they were getting a little suspicious. But it was buzzing because they were tracking it. And they the buzzer kept going off. The same way that like if you ping your, your Apple Watch or whatever, it starts going off. So then it started going off in the car and I was like covering it to make sure that it was like muffled and that they couldn't hear it. And then when I got home, I went in my closet and shoved it under like a hamper of a bunch of random things. Still not knowing that they were tracking the location of it. But I was like, you know, I'm just going to shove it under here so then they can't find it. It is what it is. And then my mom gets a call from my aunt. And she's like, location is showing up here. So what's going on? And then I just kept um, denying it. But that was one situation. I did get caught with that. That was not fun. That was the first time that, the first and only time that Seth ever yelled at me. Huh. Yep, I remember that exact moment. I was standing at the top of the stairs and he was downstairs and he was just really going at it. But yeah, um, that was the, the one time. And the second time was even worse, but I don't know which one came first. Um, me and my friend... The one that I, the one that I refollowed on Instagram that I had found. Yes. Mm -hmm. Me and her were, were very bad, which is why it's a good thing that I was moved out of there <laughs> because things would have ended poorly if we had stayed in El Paso. But her and I got caught drinking at her uncle's house because I was staying the night there and I was seven, eight years old. But we stole, we stole a beer from her uncle's fridge while he was outside talking with the neighbors. And then we went upstairs and had some fun. But then we got caught. But I, How'd you get caught? I and obviously, this is a lie. I obviously refused. Huh? Well, because any time that I would get caught, I still denied it. You were just a fucking idiot at that yeah, point. Yeah, I know. But I still denied it. And You're I was so like, stupid. no. And then, yeah. I had to be picked up that night, and then it was really late, so then they wouldn't have a talk with me until the next morning, but they were like, let me smell your breath, and yeah, I was like seven, eight years old. That's just, that's, that, I'm not even going to count that one, because that's not even a lie. You were caught. You were well, caught in Well, both the times I was caught, but I still lied about it in the beginning, until I was caught. Because well, no, we the would first get... one... Nobody knew until suspicions arose, and then yeah, but it was a well. I've, there were suspicions that something was taken out of the refrigerator, so they would ask us, and we're like, no. So we were denying it to begin with, but <laughs> I mean, you could stupid. smell it. You're so stupid. Yeah, some troubled years. Anyways, those were that's what started uh my lying, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Oh wait. I just remembered the first actual lie. Oh. Nice. So in third grade, <laughs> before we moved uh, from Coconut Grove to Weston, I think it was the summer before third grade started. Uh, I was at skate camp. And I was really cool with, like, the owners of the place. Like, we were... Family friends would hang out a bunch more outside of skate camp. Just wipe my makeup. Um. Yeah, I I was hanging out. I think on one of our lunch breaks, and I just so happened to be left alone in the dad's office of my friend, where he just so happened to have an unlocked box of cash. I stole $500 out of this box. What were you doing with $500? I don't know. I was what were you going to do? I was saving up for something. <laughs> I was like, this could, I could buy another skateboard. I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah, and your parents were going to question where you got five hundred dollars from to go buy a skateboard. I did. I ran a lemonade stand. That was going to be that was going to be my lie, but I never made it that far. Um. <laughs> so. Yeah, I <laughs> I successfully <laughs> took the cash and brought it home. And then one day my dad just busts into my room and he's like, what the fuck? Like, what is your problem? Like, why? What the fuck is your problem? I'm like, what? what are you talking about? No, I didn't do anything. <laughs> and, bro, I was... <laughs> I was caught in 4K. <laughs> I they, had, they had cameras? He had a camera at the... <laughs> At the top corner of his office. <laughs> You're so stupid. I was caught in four fucking K. Yep. How old are you? Um, oh, you said third grade. Yeah, this is somewhere like, before third grade. So yeah, yeah seven, seven, eight. Yeah, this I just turned like seven years old, eight years old. See, I'm telling you, those are the years. We're just getting into some trouble. Um, yeah, no, and like I denied it. I was like, he's like, you stole five hundred dollars from from what's his from the dad from his office. I'm like, no, what are you talking about? I didn't do that. And then I got it to the point where it was like, oh my god, this was the summer after third grade actually, because I was supposed to have a moving away party. <laughs> my moving they away, took it away party, from you? huh? They took it away from you. My moving away party got canceled. <laughs> Because I took this lie, I was willing to take it to the grave, even after I was shown the 4K footage. How are you going to lie when they have recording of no, it? No, because at that point, I had already lied so much. Oh my goodness. That I was just, I was just like, that could I be I think anybody. when there's video footage, you can't really do much there, no matter what you say. Well, I, I had committed so much to the lie that no matter what they showed me, I was just going to stick to it. Cause then what am I gonna do? Like, yeah, you, you caught me. It's in 4K. Okay. Like, yeah, you gotta suck it up. I don't know. I, that was my first lie. So at that point, I was <laughs> like, you know what? Just go for it. Like, you already did it. Just commit the crime. Just do it. Uh -huh. So obviously, the five hundred dollars got given back. Uh, my going away party, leaving Coconut Grove. I was supposed to have all my friends over and all this. Man, it got canceled. No friends came to see me. I had to say goodbye after we moved. We had moved to Weston. We had been there for a few months. And then one day after school, or it, my mom might have picked me up early, but we went from Weston, drove all the way to Coconut Grove to then say goodbye. Like, we perfectly parked outside the school I used to go to. At the time, they were going to be released, so I can just meet all my friends outside, say goodbye. And then we went around to the skate park and said goodbye to those people. Sad yeah. times. So, that was rough. Yeah, I mean, that was my first lie. I didn't really know how to handle it. I got caught, and I was just like, fuck it. I, I'm lying more. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know what you mean by this question, this last one, but I hope, hopefully, we can make this quick. Uh, choose. Yeah, I already know what you're gonna say. Choose any collectible, no matter the price, so I don't have to pay for it. No, you just get to keep it. I don't even know the answer to this question. How do you know what I'm gonna say? What do you think I'm gonna say? You wouldn't say like the original lightsabers that were used. Mm -hmm. What other valuable thing is out there that you truly would want to have in your home? You're always asking for a lightsaber. If you could get your hands on an original. Yeah, I mean, if I could, that would sell. Because I would want a collectible that oh I don't God, have to pay for to then potentially sell it one day. Like a game-worn LeBron jersey. Or like with a signature or some shit. Game-worn game -worn shoes, signature. Or like Why would you sell it? How would you sell a collectible? That's for you to have. Yeah, but then money. Oh my goodness. Well, then at that point, just don't even get it because you're not even getting it for like. All right, all right, all right. The all value right. of having it, you just want to sell it. I don't, I'm not saying I want to sell. It. I'm saying with the potential, you would want something with value. That way, if worse comes to worse, like say for some reason, 
few years from now, I decide to get out of the Air Force, and then we're just homeless. <laughs> I have this it. collectible that can buy us some time. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think it'd have to be something in that area, like a super rare, like high school LeBron jersey that he signed. That would that would pay. Or does art count as collectible? Whatever you can collect is considered collectible. Mona Lisa. Or any of the Van Goghs. Van Goghs? <laughs> Gogh. Van Gogh. Whatever. However you say his I name. I think it's just any of the Go. Yeah. Van- That's probably the a smarter Go. one right there. Like just a, like a collect, like an art piece. Yes. Them yeah. bitches will sell for millions. And then I don't even need to buy time. We have all the time in the world because I got money now. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. But it feels like a genuine collectible that I'm just never going to give up. Like, yeah, I probably want something a bit more meaningful, like maybe. maybe. Or like the robe that Anakin wore. That'd be pretty cool. I'd still probably Do want. Do they not have a, a Star Wars museum? Not that I know. That of. holds all of those things? I don't think they kept any of that stuff. I mean, not that I know of. If there was a museum, I'd probably know about it by now. But maybe I'm just not that good of a fan. I don't know. Um, or maybe it's in the Universal Park. I honestly, because I, I can't remember what that park looks like. I went to Hollywood Studios like once compared to all the other parks. Yeah, but all that Star Wars stuff is like fairly newish. I don't know what all they would have put there. From well, like the prequels and, and original trilogy. But anyways, uh, if it was something that I was going to actually collect. Yeah, it'd probably be something Star Wars related or like superhero related. Even still, NBA related, a signed jersey, signed shoes. I mean, I have my Miami Heat basketball that's signed by Chris Bosch. That's still at Mommy's house. Mm-hmm. That's a collectible. I have that. I was meant, oh man, I had such big plans for that ball. I was going to get the big three signature Chris Bosch, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James. But I never met the other two. So. <laughs> <laughs> And this is why we should have gone to the fucking Paris Olympics. You wouldn't have so I can met get him. LeBron's signature before he retires. You wouldn't have met him. You don't know that. You would have been you don't know sitting that. Maybe, far up in the sky. No, maybe I start going the, the same route the speed went with this Ronaldo bullshit. I'm the biggest LeBron fan in the world. I'm going to fucking meet him one day because I'm that crazy. Sure. And then, and then when I get super... 25 million subscriber rich like speed Mm -hmm. i'm gonna get a fucking lamborghini with lebron stickers all over it just like he did with his ronaldo lamborghini that's just too much yeah but he made it in life and we're still in the air force (laughs) well you can get that far in life and not do tacky shit like that yeah that's a that's too much nope all right well that's a good way to wrap it up oh wait you you have to answer Jeez, because we just I just perfectly tied it back to the beginning with the Paris Olympics and all that shit. Uh huh. Well, yeah. you messed up because you, you didn't include me. Well, I should have answered second. All right. What are you gonna collect? <laughs> Did you have your outro ready to go? No, I was just happy that I made that connection to the beginning. Uh huh. Anyways, um, honestly, I couldn't think of like anything too valuable, other than there's this Louis Vuitton trunk. That would be a nice piece, like a statement piece in the house. That is fucking useless. It's not useless because I could put shit in it. What do you mean? Oh it's a of trunk. All the things to have. Well, I'm collectible. thinking. I'm thinking like for me personally, like what do I value? Because there's not anything out there that I would be like. I don't have teams that I would support that I'd want an autograph thing. Dallas. Dallas. What's your Trash ass football team. Dallas Cowboys. Hello. Maybe you'd want something. Well, yeah, from there. but like, no, they're not. Their shit isn't going to be valuable. Yeah, because so. they suck. <laughs> Finally, you do. Leave it. No, I still root for Garbage them. Garbage no ass what. organization. But I don't know. The trunk is cool. We passed by it in the Louis Vuitton store when we went the one yeah, time. That's just like I don't see that as a collectible. That's just a purchasable a item. I'm not buying it. It's collectible because they will discontinue. Yeah. If I actually don't. They're not even really okay, like for even, sale. Even then, okay, that just makes it even less of a collectible, honestly. Because then, how are you going to collect it if you can't purchase it? What do you mean? 
Like, how is that a collective? The point the the point wasn't to pick something that you can buy. Well, no, I'm not gonna. I'm saying, but like, That's what if I you can't just said, but if you can't even buy it from a store regularly, how are you like? How is that even like a sellable thing? Like, who cares to even buy that? You can't buy the Mona Lisa. Yeah, well, maybe <laughs> you I can't, can't buy Van Gogh's artwork. There's some pieces that you can't. Man, but that this is freaking Louis Vuitton trunk. There's so many better things. Not for me. I don't care about. I don't have things like that. I don't have like. You don't want like some famous dancer's shoe or like like. There a, is not a famous like dancer a, out there that I care about. Like a movie worn sweaty ass Channing Tatum fucking magic. I was Mike gonna t-shirt. say maybe his white tank that he wore in Step Up and the red hat with the jeans. Maybe I need the full fit. I don't know if that'd be that's any cool. more valuable that's than actually a cool. Louis Vuitton trunk. A Louis Vuitton trunk is going to go for like 40 k if you try to sell it. Channing Tatum No, it is not. That's how much a bag is. These trunks are the size okay, of the bed. Like 100 grand. That's still like, if I sold with all the, any of the things that I named. You're not getting more than 100 grand. 100 grand. If I try to sell the Mona fucking Lisa. <laughs> Something realistic. What was the other option I gave? You were just talking about NBA and Star Wars. Okay, well, NBA, I can definitely make a... If it, like I said, if it's like a rare game-worn fucking high school jersey or like a U.S. I still Olympics, don't see that going past 100 grand. They have sold for a lot more than that. I don't see who's buying that. Because you're an idiot. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not valuable. Like, 100K for a jersey... It's not hundred. It's worth more. It's worth more. They've sold for a lot. But Fucking they don't, they don't deserve Michael Jordan's that original more. Air Jordan. That shit sells. Yeah, but that's a shoe. A shoe's different than a jersey. It's game worn. What the fuck does it matter? Like the first Jordan. Because a jersey's that he, a jersey. Like that's not really. Eh. If it's the first of its kind, or if it's rare, like a U.S. Olympics jersey signed. I don't think there's a lot of those from LeBron. A high school jersey, like you, like those are those are the little things you gotta think about. Those things will sell, and especially when it comes to Michael Jordan shoes, a lot of those original things that he had back in the whoever cares times, because he's not even a goat anyways. Those things have sold for a lot, like a like a fuck you amount of money. Sure, I'd want to get my hands on that shit. That way, I can sell it and make that fuck you money. <laughs> Alrighty, well. But yeah, Louis Vuitton trunk. If that's what I, I honestly your don't really have like anything else to go towards. Like a, like a Billie Eilish something, Billie Eilish related. Yeah, I I thought about it, but or what's his face? Uh, the other guy. What is that guy? Bad Bunny. Oh, I wouldn't care to have anything from him. Okay, well then he sucks. Billie Eilish <laughs> related. If I could have her. Or- her shoes that she sells and them signed, probably. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Still right waiting there. to get those. But right now, the collectibles I'm going for Funko Pops. Let's go. Yeah. Hell yeah. You're welcome. I, by the way, I put myself. Oh, yeah. Thank you for getting me. Mm-hmm. That was that. You were supposed to get it for me, anyways. I just helped you get there. <laughs> you know, I came across that by luck because what I was really looking for is I saw that they're about to. The they, Deadpool. They just announced the Deadpool and Wolverine Jesus Funko Christ. Pops. I just put myself on the email list to get notified that when they yeah, and they're gonna sell they, it in point two seconds. I'm gonna get one. Sure, you're gonna be sleeping I can, I when cannot, it's released. I could probably just go on a, on another web, website and pre order it. So then, why don't you pre order? I'm probably so that just way it's do guaranteed. That. Any hoosies. On that note, <laughs> the camera died. We forgot what we were talking about. So hopefully you enjoyed whatever the fuck that question was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we answered it. We were just going on a on a rant. Yeah. Like usual. See, this is why it's so tough to answer questions because I put four or five questions thinking that we could, you know, quick and easy. But no, that just ran us over much. 30 minutes. So mm. I think I'm going to have to sum it up to like three questions max. Yeah. This is why we never. Especially for some deep conversations. Unless we're asking what your favorite color is. Yeah, this is why it was so frustrating for me. This this is the thing I talked about in, like, the first podcast we did. Fucking any of those times when we first started doing YouTube that we would do, like, you know, random challenges and 
games like that at our kitchen counter, we only got through like three questions the entire yeah, video because we, we just, just yap all the time. Talk too damn much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any hoosies. Thanks for tuning in to this week's podcast. Every time she says any hoosies, take a shot. Any hoosies. You said it a bunch today. Any hoosies. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you are now wasted. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already watched yesterday's YouTube video. Um where is it going with that? Oh. Follow us on all socials. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, rate us five stars. Uh, drop a question if you have any. And uh, we'll see you next week. Yep. See you guys on Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Oh. It's the next vlog. Well, see you in the next vlog. Yeah, see you in the next vlog. Bye. Ciao, ciao.